Hey, good morning, good morning. Listen, it's not how you start, but it's how you finish. And so we're going to finish strong this week going into the weekend. I know y'all probably got kids in sports or you just want to rest. We're going to do both here in this house. Uh, but I want to continue talking about this image, right? Because in the midst of this image and this likeness, this place that we're supposed to be royalty, right? We're supposed to be standing on top of the devil on our feet. But what keeps us from there is shame. And shame, I want to bring that definition again is the emotion caused by consciousness of guilt, right? A shortcoming, a failure, something that we did wrong. Um, when guilt, you know, that failure, that, uh, humiliation that happened, that disgrace, right? That condition of mindset when it's left unintended, when we don't deal with that and, and we stay there to reason within ourselves or we internalize what happened to us and it becomes us, right? That's when it turns into shame. And when we go back to the beginning, because you always got to go back to the beginning, right? Wisdom is the principal thing. Adam and Eve, think about it. They did something that they were not supposed to do. They were exposed and they had guilt because of what they did. They knew that they weren't supposed to do something, right? They put on the, the fig leaves. They covered up. And all of a sudden, now they were ashamed of what was natural to them. And now they're covering up what God gave them. The other day I said, let your light shine. Don't cover it up. God gave us riches inside of us, gifts, talents, you know, everything that he, that we need to live and to become who God has called us to be. He's given it to us, but shame will cause us to hide and isolate ourselves. It'll cause us to cover up. It's kind of like going, we're sentencing ourselves to prison with no possibility of parole. We hide our light. Shame causes us to disconnect and it leads to isolation. The enemy wants us to be disconnected, but God wants us to shine. So don't allow the shame to put you in a jail cell with no possibility of parole. Shine your light. Know who you are. You are loved by God and you are chosen. You are holy and you are without blame. God bless you and have a wonderful weekend.